I had no idea what it was going to turn into and could never have imagined that 12 years later, 13 years later, I'd still be talking about it. I was at my daughter's laser tag game <laughs> for her birthday. And uh, they called me and said, you know, we'd like for you to step in. The committee would now like to invite Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes to the chamber. Rhodey? What? Hey, buddy. Didn't expect to see you here. Look, it's me. I'm here. Deal with it. Let's I move on. I, I just, I drop, drop it. it. All right, I'll drop it. I think it was a six picture deal at the time. and. So I was trying to figure out how long that was, and I said, and "What are these? What? What are the movies? And what are they going to be like? How's the character going to develop?" They're like, "We're not sure about any of those answers, but we need an answer in an hour." And I said, "I'm at my daughter's birthday party laser tag game." They said, "Oh, take two hours." So uh, you know, you have to take two hours to decide is it something that you're going to do for however many years that was going to turn out to be. And I talked to my wife about it, and we just kind of said, "Yeah, let's roll the dice and see." You've been avoiding Earth. But I have called for your help plenty of other times, and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Yeah, well, this is different. I had no idea what it was going to turn into, and could never have imagined that 12 years later, 13 years later, I'd still be talking about it. And now with the, with the series, having an opportunity to continue to deepen our the understanding of, of what makes Rhodey tick. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about him? Fury? We gotta be very careful now. for this fight that lies before us. Who is Rhodey? Where did he come from? What are the relationships? Who's important to him? Who is he important to? What does he want to do? What are his goals? What's, what are his desires outside of the relationship with these people that we've seen? Who is he when he's by himself? A lot of these things we haven't seen before. So there's, a, like I said, a good opportunity to, to explore all that stuff and hopefully create a full character that now when we see the suit, we see everything else we know what's behind them. It's a rebirth in a way, you know, it's, it's coming back to this character, but we've never gone to the places that we're about to go to in the show. So I feel like we're in some ways just getting to know him even after all this time. This is just the beginning. This is my war alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. And what is that? That's the hope, is that he gets to be more three-dimensional and, you know, things that we like, don't like, uh, his desires, his fears, all of the things that I think we've only cursorily looked at as Rhodey. He's always sort of existed in the context of, you know, Tony and the MCU and his job as an Avenger, um, but really like sort of peel all that back and really get to know who he is.